Hey guys, it's your boy Nathan Banks and I'm back again with another vlog, A Day in Life with Nathan. So I just came back from my um, driver's license test and I finally got my driver's license because I've been like, I don't know, I, I took it one time and I failed. I took it like a couple weeks ago and I failed because the lady was just like, make this upcoming left. And I said, all right, cool. But we just turned to left. So I kind of confused, like people normally say like, oh, take this left. So she com she confused me, she was an asshole, so I failed. But the next lady, the lady that I had today, she passed me, she was nice, she was amazing. We talked about her life, everything of that sort. So I passed, finally got my driver's license, finally can drive by myself. Um, between me and you guys, I've always been driving by myself, so it's not really a secret. But yeah, I'm proud of myself. I'm just like, finally got my license. So now I'm about to go to my edible lady because I really need to get some edibles. And later on, later tonight, I'm going to go to the movies because I want to go to the movies and I want to be really high. So I'm going to take my edible, go to the movies. You guys can come for that. Um, what else? Yeah, and I'm just gonna buy some edibles from her. She has some other stuff. This lady is amazing. If you live in the Atlanta, Georgia area, this lady is amazing. I'm gonna have to like hook you up. I'm gonna tell her that I hooked you guys up. Let her know. I'm gonna put it all in the description or whatever where you guys can get her, her edibles at and put her Instagram, all that cool shit. So. Well, guys, I got my edibles. I feel like I've been driving forever. It's crazy. Ooh. I feel like I've been driving forever and just like being in the heat. Cause when I drive my car, I don't drive. Like when I drive my car, I don't put on the AC cause I'm not trying to waste gas. And it costs like $50 to fill up my tank. So I'm not with that. Mm -mm. I'm trying to save my money. But I got my edibles. I was supposed to get this um, THC syrup that I saw on Instagram and I saw on YouTube but when the lady told me the price, she was just like, it's $50. I said, okay, cool. Um, let me catch my breath, because I just went upstairs. She said it was $50, and I said, okay, cool. I'm fine with that, like, I can afford it. So then when I pulled up to the place, the syrup was this small, guys, literally this small. It was smaller than a small nail polish. It was the size of like those kids' nail polish that they put in your like kids' toys and stuff like that so they can act like they're doing makeup and doing their nails. It was like that small for $50. And I said, this isn't the syrup. She was just like, yeah, this is the tincture. Um, I have to make the syrup. And I, said, I was just like, I told you I wanted the syrup. And like you made me drive all the way out of the blue just to go get the tincture or whatever. So I was just like, no, I'm good, um, whatever. And so she was just like, she's gonna text me after I leave, she's just like, oh, you should try it, please try it. I'm just like, to me, when you do that, I feel like you're just trying to make a sale off me and I'm just another number, when really, like, you should be caring about your customers and shit like that. Her products are amazing. I'm not gonna doubt her on that. But it's just like, mm -mm, I can't. I can't mess with it, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. But. I'm going to the club. My friend Esmond just called me. He wants me to go to the club with him tonight. So we're going to go to this club slash bar. It's called Ghost Bar or whatever. So yeah, I'm probably going to take a piece of edible. I need to take a nap because this is the bar that I fell asleep at. I have a story time of when I fall asleep at bars and stuff. I'm going to like place a story time somewhere this week in it. And yeah, we're going to go to Ghost Bar or whatever. And then that should be it. Pretty much it. I love this. I love Ghost Bar because it's 420 friendly. You can do whatever you want in there. That it's not crazy, but it's nice. It's a nice, quiet, chill club. Everyone's cool. Everyone's vibing. The music, music is always right. And yeah, parking's only ten dollars, so it's not that bad. So I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. And whatever, like whatever I learned, I feel like I learned that I should always drive places. In Atlanta, always drive places because people will leave you. I have been with friends, my so-called friends, and they're like, okay, we're going in the club together. And they straight leave me and now I'm stuck with like a $40 Uber bill, which is crazy. That happened to me last week or the week before that. That's another story time on its own. Y'all, I got so many story times ever since I moved to Atlanta. Crazy. People are just, they're weirdos out here. So bad weirdos not the good weirdos but yeah but i'm about to watch this movie on netflix guys take a nap chill relax and just find my outfit for tonight so i can just be ready and just go home just go out and yeah uh, i just want to say i look like a whole snack look at esmond right here mm, hey there how do you all the stuff like you know so why don't you tell them where we're going tonight um we're going to the ghost bar the ghost bar mm -hmm. yes it is where the Latinos and the hip hoppies get down and 
Nasty. Mm. And I'm Caucasian, so I don't know anything about these things. All right, guys, so we're here. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> that, was that was a good ad lib. See, that's what y'all fucking mean. Yeah. We got Kylie's best friend, Jordan, here. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Hi. You're so pretty. So you agree? You think you're really pretty? <laughs> <laughs> like mean girls that are something. <laughs> <laughs> hey there. I buy that shit before I even know the price. <laughs> Guys, I'm so drunk. Can we play I do that all the time. time. I'd be like, ooh, I really want this. And I find out the price and I'm like, fuck. Pull up. Make more shit there. Why do I have experience? Guys, like, I'm so drunk right now. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> yeah. I kind of feel like the, the um, Kim Kardashian out of the group. We have Kylie, Kylie right here. No, I'm one of their other like famous friends who aren't related. Really Jordan! Famous. Then you're Jordan. Uh, Y'all, yeah. tell me she does not look like Jordan. A little more Jordan, famous. she owns ASOS. I don't wear that. You don't order? No. <sighs> oh, Y'all, ASOS sponsor this video because <laughs> you can get someone <laughs> to fucking know. I mean, maybe I'll check out. Is she got videos and shit? Maybe I'll check I don't know. Out. If I, maybe I'll check it out. Is she, because if it's a black woman owns, owns it, I should check it out. Wait, she owns ASOS? Yeah. Owns it. Like, she's the she owner. owner. She's the owner. Oh, wait. So, wait, I might have to actually check that out then, because she's a black woman, so I, I gotta support her. Yeah. Of course, some shit goes down when there's a billion dollars in the elevator. <laughs> Wait, so no one's gonna press a button on the elevator? Or? We did. Oh, no, 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 no. got you, because you wasn't paying attention. We're slick, a ninja, assassin type bitches. Anime hoes. Anime hoes. Oh, really? I love anime. I don't watch it. <laughs> I love anime. What's the anime pose? Oh, fuck. Anime's so boring. Whoa. Whoa. This is what I meant when it's in a gangbang. If you're lazy, get the dub version. There are plenty available. Wow. Don't yeah. sit, just please don't step on or sit on Gigi's goods. It's, it's in the back. Yes, it's mm -hmm. fucking. And if someone could actually hold a balloon, that would be one of those. There's balloons in. Wait. There's a, a balloon. Asmin, scoot over. I want to get on that side. There's a balloon. Uh, are you like scared of balloons or something? No. I hate those. I just want to know, like, who's in charge of the music? Play something extra rap. Like the most
Dahlia's about to get some food because we're hungry and drunk. It's about 3.55. Uh, um, Did I tell it? Hell yeah, let's go! Oh, we're not gonna, we're gonna have a, we're not gonna oh, have gosh. a turn of song. <sighs> Y'all, we made it. Uh, clear the fuck up. This is where we're at. Hey, bitches. Hey guys, so I just woke up from last night's events. It was crazy. I really don't even remember what happened, how I got home, how I ended up here. But like, oh my gosh, like guys, that was so crazy. Oh my gosh. I was so fucked up, y'all. Y'all just don't understand. But I had so much fun last night, it was great. It's like 1.30 right now, and I'm now just waking up. And I didn't get home till like five something. And like, yo, I was so, like, have you guys ever been like, coming into your place, turning on all the lights, getting undressed, and you lay in the bed on accident? And then next thing you know, you're stuck in the bed, and you're looking at all these lights like, damn. Like, I have to turn off all this shit. And I don't even feel like moving or getting up. So I turned on my main light on my ceiling and I laid in the bed. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need to like really, I need to honestly turn this off and just go to bed. But I looked at it and I fell asleep. Like, and I woke up with the light on. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I was supposed to turn it off. And I also have fries at the end of my bed that I wanted to eat when we stopped at the food place. So. Wasted some fries. They were bomb fries. They were fucking wedges. And you know, wedges can fill up a whole family. I should go back to that place and go get some wedges too. I should. Alright, but that's it, y'all. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm signing off. Oh. And one more thing, guys. Also, don't forget to please comment. Please comment. Please like. Please rate. Please subscribe. Please do all that stuff because... I'm trying to grow my fan base and I just want y'all to be a part of my NMBJ team. So yes, come on. Come over to the to the poppin' NMBJ team where we try everything, we do everything, and no one gives a fuck, but we're living our life because you only got one life to live and you're only here for a good time. Well, not a long time, so yeah. Hey,